Hey guys, it's John. And Kimmy! And welcome back to Virtue's Last Reward. We took a month and a half off, so... It was unplanned, but very needed. Yeah, we did not plan to take this much time off, but uh, we are back now. And uh, if you don't remember where we were, I am going to catch this up right now. Because I do not blame you at all for forgetting. <laughs> Because <laughs> I think I think uh, Kimmy and even I have forgotten a bit uh, of where we were. Um, we're going through Alice's branch right now. What we did a couple episodes back was we at the first AB game we betrayed. We went uh, down this route. We went through the control room, which if you remember the control room, that was the room with the nuclear reactor. They talked a lot about bombs and stuff. And right, that wasn't what? the one with the furnaces, right? No. No. Okay. Furnaces. That was I don't remember any furnaces. It was the one with the weird plant, uh, weird root that we found. Mm -hmm. uh, and the, yeah, Luna and Alice, I think, is who we went that, uh, through that room with. And then in the next AB game, we hit Ally, uh, but Phi had a bit of an attitude. Uh, and so we came up with this lock. How do we stop Phi? So we won't be able to unlock that just yet. Then I recommended that we go back. So the first AB game, an ally, and then we went through the B garden. Which is really cool with all the stars and the different plants and stuff. I think that was my favorite room. Yeah, I like the B garden a lot. It's one of my favorites. Uh, yeah, yeah we, there were like stars in the water. There was a waterfall, buttons. We had, we had to, to like up pick stuff, fruit. Metal detector. Yeah. And there's stuff in the flowers or something. <laughs> yeah. And uh, now we're in the novel section right after the Bee Garden, and we'll be heading to our next AB game where we will be hopefully unlocking some things to finally go back and tie up some of these dead ends. For example, we don't know the uh, director's office With the two codes lion. Mm -hmm. yet. We'll have to return to that at some point. We also still have this lock left where, um, if you remember, Dio had the Accelivere. And then we went to negative one BP and we're dying. And he thinks there's got there's got to be some way I can get out of this. And we'll have to return to both of those. But other than that, we're we're pretty much wrapped up with all this stuff. Yeah, and we okay. have that other one. Yeah, but this is just a they escaped thing. Oh that we decided right. To skip. I forgot. Yeah. So lots more to do. So I'm excited. Virtue's last reward. Let's go. And if you're watching this, it means that we're completely done with the game and we're just going to be posting these videos uh, regularly. So so there's no more, no more breaks, breaks. At, from this yeah. point on, which is good because we're in the last home stretch of the game where yeah. questions are being answered. So we don't want to hold that up. Right. Okay. Okay. No sooner we stepped out of the garden than I saw the three people I'd watched leap through the green door sometime earlier. Whoa. What are you guys doing here? You gotta be asking you the same thing. Okay, so this is... They do this every fucking time. Yeah. They figure out that all How paths lead to this point. Sigma, hand me the map. Map? Oh, right. I dug the map out of my pocket. And then they... You three came in through the blue door, right? Yeah, they track where they came from. And which yeah. room did you go into? This fan-shaped one. It's called the Bee Garden. Bee Garden? It's this big dome with a bunch of plants in it. Look, you can go see it yourself later, all right? What about you guys? Well, after we went through the green door, we ended up in the treatment center. So they went to the treatment center. That's the one with the pods, the right. freezing pods. And then we met up. Right here. Right so, here. what's the treatment center? It sounds a lot like the infirmary. You wanna have a look? We can go back to any of the rooms we've already visited. <laughs> oh God, we're gonna go to the treatment center for like the eighth time. So? Sure, let's have a look. After a few moments of brisk walking, we found ourselves in the treatment center. The head bobbing begins. Forgot about the music. What are those? They're why this is called a treatment center. 
Those pods can cure a number of illnesses and even repair certain injuries. Wow, that's nuts. How about you climb in one of them, Dio? Why? Well, maybe it can fix whatever's wrong with your brain. Uh, hey, you want to start something, lady? Oh yeah, Dio's kind of weird in this branch. Because remember at the beginning, um, they allied, he and Quark allied with uh, Luna, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he's So he's, he's not quite as, like, cutthroat as He's acting before. weird, yeah. yeah. Calm we don't down, know why yet. Son. You don't cool off a bit and I'll have to throw you in one of these pods here. Huh? Why? Weren't you paying attention? They have a cold sleep function. I figured that ought to cool your head up. Wait. Did you say cold sleep? That's where they freeze you, right? And you stay that way for a really long time. Yeah. According to some records we found in here, until about eight hours ago, there were three frozen people in these pods. Three people? Who? You mean three of us were? We don't know. All we found was what was in the logs for the pods. One of the things that's good about this game is that it's easy to pick right back up. Because mm -hmm. even if you're confused, the characters are too. Right. They have to rehash the same info. How long were they here? No idea. Part of the logs were erased. All that's left is when the cold sleep function turned off. It records them thawing out, getting up. That's it. Then they could be anyone. Well, anyone but you. What? Why not Alice? Because you don't need a device like this to freeze Alice. Am I wrong? Huh? What are you talking about? You don't need to play dumb. The water in your body isn't normal water. It's something called Ice-9. What? Remember? Remember from 999? They're finally addressing They're it. They're finally coming back to that! Yeah. I've been waiting. Okay, good. Don't get too excited, though. Oh, it freezes right. at 96.8 degrees. That means all you have to do to put yourself in cold sleep is drop your body temperature below 96.8. No fancy machine needed. Where on earth did you hear that? From Clover. Clover? When we were exploring the lounge during the first round. I see. <laughs> What's so funny? Oh man. You fell for that one hook, line, and sinker, didn't you? Clover was messing with you. That is, if she even said anything to you at all. It was a lie. A joke? A joke? No, there's no way it was a joke. I'm sure about it. Your body is made of Ice-9. Well, you're mistaken. It's a ridiculous misunderstanding. An urban legend. With seemingly no other prompting, Alice launched into a lengthy explanation. Well, it's something like this. You want to read this? Sure. At some point in the past, someone found a frozen mummified Egyptian queen. What was cu curious about this mummy, however, was that it remained frozen at room temperature. People began to refer to her as All Ice, which eventually became simply Alice. Rumors that her body was made of Ice-9 began to circulate, and her bizarre refusal to thaw only compounded them. They say that the mummy finally thawed, and when it did, it began to move. And ever since then, I've had people say they thought I was her. I mean, really? How could anyone believe something so ridiculous? The existence of this mysterious Alice and of this ice that doesn't melt are just urban legends. But why would people make that mistake about you in particular? It can't just be because your name's Alice. There are tons of Alices. Is it because of your face and how you look? Well, it is true that I am both beautiful and elegant. Can I really be blamed if people think I'm an Egyptian queen? <laughs> well... She, it, she's like, be... well... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can it be true, <laughs> I don't think that's the only reason, though. Someone who made that mistake said something to me once. They claimed they'd seen me before. Of course, I immediately pressed the issue. Do you mean the mummy, Alice? I said. When? Where? Of course, they were at a loss. In fact, I began to feel a little sorry for them. So I told them something. If you're so convinced, then maybe I am actually Alice. But maybe I've lost my memory and can't remember who I am. And so on and so on. 
I'm still not sure why Clover would tell you something like that, though. Even if she was just messing with you, it seems a little out of left field. Of course, we know that Clover didn't tell him that. Right. He, it's just his cover. Mm-hmm. Because he's Junpei. You really think she put that much thought into it? She was probably just screwing with him, and it was the first thing that came to mind. Maybe she wanted to see if she could get him to believe something completely ridiculous. <laughs> yeah. I could see her doing something like that. Well, I think that's enough idle gossip for now. The cold sleep business is interesting, but I don't think it's terribly useful. We should go see if the other team has returned to the warehouse yet. At Alice's request, we made our way out of the treatment center. Yeah, so, like I said, don't get too excited. Yeah. It is interesting, though. I am glad that it's not just, like... I'm glad that it's clear that she's being weird about it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, they discover the white doors. We've been through this, like, ten times. Right. Blah, 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 blah. Memento, memento Mori. This is... It looks like another warehouse. It looks like the same warehouse. I, s I think we still don't know what Memento Mori of the Nineth Lion ate the sun. Right. Is like a uh, mixed it's up I think message it for. Right. I think it's uh, related to the boss's office. Mm, yeah, the dir yeah, director's office. Yeah. Hey, look. Three more doors. They're all glowing white. You think... <laughs> These might be the next set of chromatic doors. I'd bet on it. Look, they've got the same boxes next to them as the other doors. So the next set of doors are... white? They haven't all been the same color before. Uh, we definitely need to tell the others about this. <laughs> Can't skip it. Right, let's head back to floor A. I want to skip this whole thing. Uh, I can't skip it! <laughs> <laughs> this is funny. Kept trying to skip it. It wouldn't let me. But, uh, I guess it's good to catch, catch everyone up. Right. Make sure we're all on the same page. We are jumping back in. That's right. I feel, like, actually excited to come back to it. Because before I was like, I can't. Not because of the game, just... You know how I get when I feel like I don't have time to do things. Yes. I get anxious. Kimmy's a quitter. That's right, I sure am. I quit quitting! <laughs> What's that from? I mean, my brain, but is it from something? I don't know. I'm sure it's been said at some point in some cheesy sitcom. My first thought was, uh, it's always sunny, but I think that's yeah. just because we've watched we've, it a lot. We've watched a lot of always yeah. sunny recently. Okay, we're back in the, uh... Oh, thank goodness. You finally returned. I was beginning to get anxious. I forgot he wears like a half tunic. Right. Does something happen? Yes. It's Quark, you see. He... He collapsed. What, what happened to Quark? He collapsed. It happened okay. so suddenly. We were just searching our room. What? Please, you must hurry to the infirmary. Clover is looking after him, but his condition could change at any moment. <laughs> you should go. Stop making fun of his facial animation. Oh, no. Stop it. <laughs> it's funny. This is a great game. It is. You're making fun of it. Temioji shoved K aside and left through the yellow door. The rest of us exchanged a few startled looks, then ran after him. <laughs> I like the idea of him leaping through the yeah. yellow door. <laughs> like the million dollar man. <laughs> Quark, come on, kid. Get a hold of yourself. Get a hold of yourself! He's unconscious, Tenmyoji. Tenmyoji grabbed Quark's shoulders and began to shake him desperately. Can we skip this? We can skip it! Okay, yeah, so it's the same thing. Like, ah, oh, what happened to Quark? Let's diagnose him. Oh, he has Radical Six. Oh, no. Um, I think like medicine. they're asking if they found anything, any medicine or something. No, nothing like medicine. I mean, it was just like a park. Oh, oh, he's talking the about the room. room that they were just in. Yeah. Lots of vegetation and stuff, but no medicine. 
What about you, Kay? Was there any medicine in your room? We visited the laboratory. There were a number of chemicals and concoctions there, some of which were medicine, but nothing like what we're searching for, I'm afraid. It's interesting because I'm pretty sure the laboratory is where we found the Excelivir in yes. other routes. Yes. So, odd. There was a weird, uh, one of those, um, injection guns that looked like under the table in here. Yeah, but that- walked in. That, that doesn't contain Excelivir. Oh, okay. It contains, um, saline, I oh, think. Okay. Yeah. And my hairs is on you. Because they, when they find the Excelivir, they put it into the injection gun. Gotcha. Oh, God. He's... He's going to... Yeah, yeah. Look, just to be sure, the three of you went to the treatment center, right? Are you sure it wasn't there? No, there was nothing even remotely like it. You went there too, didn't you? The only thing in the treatment center are those treatment pods. Treatment pods? That's it! If we put Quark in one of those pods... Tamioji's not gonna like that. For a moment, there was silence. Quark? Quark! Oh, yeah, he's doing this thing again. He's gonna try and I kill got, us. I gotta die. Because he wants to die. No, no. He doesn't want to kill us, he wants to kill himself. That's right. But then we have to sedate him, and then we're like, what do we do with him? Ugh. Oh, right, in his shin. Then, <gasps> and then Alice is doing the same thing. She's doing the thing Alice. where... So it's the same thing she did the other route, which is different from the other branches. Right. Where she goes uh, all Radical Six inside the infirmary. Right. in the other branches, She's we just found like, her dead. I don't feel so good. And right. like stumbles off and then we find her dead. Right. But here, now in in the other route, just real quick, over in this one, she did the same thing, but and we found her in the bee garden. We also found another bomb in the bee garden. Yes. So we found two of the bombs. Right. Yeah. All right. We just stood there, she spun around, looked through the door. Okay, we'll skip. All this, we're looking for Alice, looking in the lounge. She's not there. <laughs> Is Clover with us? We haven't seen her yet. I think so, yeah. No one here, huh? <laughs> Damn, where'd she go? The plane wasn't gonna help anything. I need to go look somewhere else. Good job, now, Sigma. We did, we did go through the bee garden this time, so I wonder if that's gonna change anything. Right. Because she was with us in the bee garden. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, it was her and Luna. Luna? Yeah. I think we've gone... Wait. It was wasn't it Fi. No. Clover? We haven't no. seen Clover. Alice and Luna we went to the control room with. Oh, so it couldn't have been Luna. Yeah, so it couldn't have been Luna. Yeah. So I don't know. Oh wait, it actually could have been Luna because the bracelets maybe changed oh, right. after the voting to where it was the same thing. Oh, the jellyfish. I forgot about happen. them. Okay, went to the treatment center. <laughs> Shoot, nothing in the treatment center either. We need to find her quick or she's gonna do something bad. If we hadn't stopped Quark. Right, because she took the scalpel. Mm -hmm. I need to hurry. I head to the garden next. Here we now, go. Well, we assume that right. she'll be there. She'll be in the bee garden. Which it's weird that she's going to the bee garden this route instead of the crew quarters. Which is where we always found her body. Right. It's so relaxing. Wait, is she not here? I'd only gone a few steps from the walkway through the grass when I stopped short. Okay, so Fi's here again, so it's the same thing. Oh, there you are. Good. I'm glad you showed up. I just got huh? here a minute ago. She was like this when I- When you showed up, I was getting ready to carry her to the infirmary. Yeah, yeah, this is the same thing that happened in the last episode. Then yeah. she's, uh, alive? Her breathing and pulse seem normal. She doesn't appear to have any obvious external wounds. So, she's just unconscious. Looks like it. What about the scalpel? Doesn't look like she has it. Figure she probably dropped it on the way here. Anyway, Is that what happened in the last one? To the yeah. Infirmary. Give me a hand here. 
Because we were looking for it. Yeah, right. Alice was lighter than I'd expected. And fine, I managed to set off towards the infirmary at a brisk trot. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Running, running, running. Yeah, see? What? The gun under the table. Yeah. No, yeah, but it's full of saline. Yeah, oh, that's right. You All right, that. please pay attention, everyone. You need to hear this. The atom like, has finished scanning Alice. What is this say? the same? No. Her results are identical to Quark's. I'm pretty she sure has this also is the been same. infected mm -hmm. with Radical 6. Yeah, oh, there's Clover. She's here now. Yeah. On our way back, five gone off to retrieve the rest of the participants. Seven sets of eyes widened as Luna spoke. Oh, no. No. What's going to happen to her? Well, like I said before, there's only one way to cure Radical 6. There's a special antiviral treatment. Do you know what immunoglobulin is? Immunoglobulin? so gross. It's another name for antibodies. Globulin? Some people have antibodies that can fight off Radical 6. Those antibodies are the basis for Excelivir. Wait, what about those pods in the treatment center? Can we just stick them in those? Right. I thought of that too, so I went and took a closer look at them. Unfortunately... They can't cure it. Correct. They can suppress the symptoms for a while, but they can't kill the virus itself. The only way we can help Alice and Quark is if we can find some Excelivir. But the pods will keep them from getting any worse, right? Yes. Well then what are we waiting for? One of you, grab Alice. We're going to the treatment center. As he spoke, Temioji moved over to Quark and lifted his small, unconscious body off the bed. Quark shifted slightly as Temioji moved him. Something fell out of his pocket with a soft clink. Is this new? Yes. I bent down slowly and picked it up. Is this- Quark had it. Medicine? What? Well, what is it? Hold on. There's a name on the label here. Ex- Excel of- Excelivir! You found it, Sigma! Wait, oh, so he, he must have gone through the laboratory then. Yeah. That's the one he thing did. that can cure Radical Six! Uh, why did Quark have it? Perhaps he found it earlier. Earlier when? We explored the laboratory. It was on the other side of the red door. I happened to notice Quark putting something in his pocket. He hid it? Whether or not that was his intention is unclear. I did not have the opportunity to ask, as he collapsed immediately afterwards. It didn't feel appropriate to go digging around in his pockets for it after that. And to be honest, it had also slipped my mind. We were rather preoccupied with getting him to the infirmary as quickly as possible. Who cares about the details? We have it! Hurry up and give it to him, Luna. Hey, hold on a minute! What about Alice? Does it really matter if she goes first or not? Um... I'm sorry, but I don't think we can do that. What? There's only enough here for one person. The only way we have to administer this is with the injection gun. And the way it functions, it uses a whole bottle each time you pull the trigger. In other words, we can't split the dose in two or something. Right. Well, we all stood. Stunned. Fine moved. Stepping over to Quark, she quickly ran her hands through his clothes, then stepped back with a frown and a small shake of her head. Nothing. That one bottle was it. Do you think there might be some more? Back in the laboratory? No. Unfortunately not. No. Oh god. I mean, listen Kay, you said you guys didn't find any medicine. But let's just go look. Yeah, let's just go look. Just enough medicine for one dose. Only one person can be <laughs> saved. Who should we give it to? Alice or Quark? What the hell is this? There's no way we're only going to save one of them. And what are we going to do? Do I have to spell it out? We're going to save them both. How? That's... um... I need to calm down. Think. There had to be some way to save both of them. It was there. I knew it. So this is a lock, I think. 
Ig equals immunoglobulin, which Luna just told us. Do you know we've, what immunoglobulin mm -hmm. is? Like seconds ago. We've seen Ig before in the game. We have. We've seen something about Ig before, way back. Instagram. No, like, <laughs> no. <laughs> they had a joke about Ig. Okay. Standing for idiot girl, or idiot guy. Okay. It's I'm not gonna remember. Antibodies. They'll show Some it to you. Some people have antibodies that can fight off Radical Six. IG Replicator. Replicator makes it sound like it makes copies of stuff. So it's like a copy machine. Yeah. Probably copies IG, or whatever that is. Any ideas? Who knows? Ice cream by the gallon? I'm sure that's when, uh, what's his face? The hat was like, idiot girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, Dio and Sigma had a bro moment. Yeah. Trash and Clover. That's it. I've got it. The IG replicator in the laboratory. It's an immunoglobulin replication machine. Uh, what? They're finally tying this in. This drove me crazy the entire game. Because, like, I did the laboratory really early. And yeah. it took me forever to get to this part. And the entire time I was like, what was the machine in the laboratory? They never came back to it. <laughs> so now we're finally here. Luna just said Excelivir is made from antibodies. That means we can make more Excelivir. Hold on a moment. There is a strange device in the laboratory that says IG replicator on it. Oh, they're, they're gonna be like, how do you know? <laughs> yeah. And I examined it thoroughly when we were in that room. Yeah, we never could figure out what it did though. Exactly. My question is, how do you know about it, Sigma? I saw it. When I was in the laboratory. When was that? Um. Didn't we go in earlier? We didn't actually go in when we were looking for Alice, but we can say that. Probably oh, okay. when you were looking for Alice, right? Thanks, Dio. Yeah, thanks, Dio. Bro Good guy, Dio, in this branch. What's, what the hell's going on? I like it. No. Dio was wrong. I hadn't gone to the laboratory when I was looking for Alice. I don't think I've ever been to the laboratory. So how did I know about the IG replicator? Uh, I'm thinking of the treatment if center. I was like, we went true, in there twice. Then we yeah. should be able to duplicate the Excelivir. I mean, there's a lot of, like, science-y rooms. Yeah, it's hard mm. to get keep them all straight. Like the laboratory, the treatment center, the infirmary. Yeah. yeah. That would mean we could cure Alice and Quark. Hmm. Let's go have a look, then. The laboratory, right? Yeah. No time to waste. We all nodded. Wait. We can't leave them here all alone. Luna, do you think you could stay behind and look after them? Oh, of course. I'd be happy to. All right, then. Let's go. I still want to put them in the treatment center until we got it replicated. We don't know how trustworthy Luna is. In fact, in uh, her branch... Something very suspicious was going on, if you remember, towards the end. Yeah. Because everybody was dead. Right. Including her. Right. But then someone was running around the facility. Which it seemed like it was stuff. Clover. Yeah. It seemed like it was Clover. Didn't it? I think we I think we assumed it was Quark. Or something like that. Hmm. Maybe I wanted it to be Clover, because in the first game, she did that a couple times. Yeah. I like this, like, radar sound, where it's like we're in a submarine. Oh, I know. It gets so annoying. Boop, 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 boop. It gets annoying when, when you're, like, binging the game. Yeah. You have to hear it all the time. Oh, you're right. We haven't been in here yet. Today. No. It was, like, the second room we did. Yeah. Yes. I mean, we're talking, like, part five or something. Yeah. This IG replicator thing. Right here. See? So this can copy the Excelivir? I think so. What are we waiting for? Calm down, all right? Don't rush me. Carefully lowered the small vial of Excelivir into the slot on the side of the machine. An empty vial already protruded from the other side. Presumably, that was where the duplicated Excelivir would go. Ready? 
<laughs> when I push this button, it should skip it. Just press the damn thing. He always does this. <laughs> right. And press. I love how Tim Miyoji doesn't have time for his shit. Yeah. He's like, just do the thing. No one. No one. Something's wrong. Quark. <laughs> yeah, that's right. D did it work? Have a look. The empty vial has something in it now. And the vial Sigma used remains as it was. It has something in it now. The empty vial has something in it now. Something in it now. Vocal fry. That's right. The empty vial has something all right, in all right, it All right, all right, all right. It does not seem to have lost any of its contents. So, it worked? Would have been pretty bad if it hadn't. All right. <laughs> Let's get this thing back to the infirmary. It would have been bad if it had fought, failed. I reached down and pulled both files from the machine, trying to slip them deftly into my pocket. Oh shit. What happened? Sorry. My hand slipped. You dropped one of them? Yeah. Just one though. What in the hell? What if you'd broken it, you idiot? Come on. If it had broken, then we could have just made another copy. Before Temioji could reply, Thai spoke. Uh, guys? I was surprised to hear a voice coming from near my feet. I looked down to see her staring intently at something beneath the table. You see? It did break! No, the vial's fine. See? She held it up in one hand. Oh, no. Huh. I bet she found a bomb. <laughs> but didn't move her eyes. Then what the heck is going on down there? Take a look. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> she slid back from the table, quickly and silently. The rest of us bent down to look. <laughs> the number two bomb. Now we found the number three, the number one, and the number two bomb, I think. Right? B -b bomb Whoa. Yeah. Really? That makes two then. Guess K was right after all. But in this one, we haven't found... Three. We didn't find bomb number three. We went to yeah. the bee garden, but it wasn't there. Right. We, we haven't found that in the other branch. Right. So, but we know that there are three bombs because we had only found one and three before. Yes, so we I... knew there was at least two. Yes, I know, but we haven't found in this one. Yeah. Yes. In this branch. That's all I'm saying. You're up here. I need you to come back down here. No, you're up here. <laughs> So, so it would seem. Was this here when you guys came through the first time? No, it was not. Yeah, I didn't see anything. And well, I did looked you looked real hard. Did you guys look under the table though? I looked must real hard. Alice. I tried my best. I didn't see it. <laughs> I looked real hard. But did you look under the table? But we know it's Dio, right? What I want to hear is I want to hear them say, I looked in this exact spot earlier and it was not here. Right. That's what I want to hear. Not like, oh, we looked though. I did my best. Uh. How would do that? You, <laughs> asshole. We were all looking for Alice. Could have been any one of us. No, not any of us. I was back in the infirmary. Quark was still out. So I was keeping an eye on him. Well, that's what you say. So we shouldn't consider you a suspect. Is that right? Yeah. Quark's off the list, too. But Tenmyoji, you have no proof that you spent the entire time in the infirmary, do you? What? You could have quietly made your way to the laboratory, planted the bomb... That's insane! Listen to yourself! There's no way in hell I'd have left Quark all by himself to go plant a goddamn bomb! Tenmyoji was still staring furiously at Kay when Clover spoke up. Hey, what's this thing? Whoops. <laughs> I turned in time to see her grab something from under the table. It looks like a memory card. Where was it? Um, right under the bomb. It was down on the floor under the table. Could it have been put here by the same person who set the bomb? There was nothing like it here when we examined this room. Do you think they dropped it accidentally? Unless it was left here intentionally, yes. I am not <laughs> Yeah, those are the two options. Unless it was on purpose. It was either left on purpose or left by accident. 
<laughs> what do you think's on it? Let's take a look. Can I see it for a minute? Yeah, I guess so. I plucked the card out of her hand and looked around the room. Nothing. <laughs> Shoot. No dice. We'll need to plug it into something that can read memory cards. But I don't see anything here. So what do we do? Come on. If I knew I'd be doing it. Ten minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Stupid All Dio. Players, please enter your votes. If no vote. Yeah, yeah, we get it. Uh guys. I think maybe we should get back to the top floor. Yeah, you're right. We've got what we came here for. Um, what should we do about the, uh, bomb? Not much we can do except leave it here. Alice said it'd be dangerous to touch them. True, but... Drop it. We can talk about the bombs later. Right now we need to take care of Alice and Quark. Right. So we'll go back to the infirmary. Give them the Accelivir. Then head to the Flore warehouse. Right. Right. This ought to do it. It might take a little while, but they should recover. Her voice was quiet as she backed away from Alice and Quark. In her hand was the injection gun. She carefully removed the empty vial and placed it gently in the cabinet with the other one. While we were in the laboratory, Luna had moved Quark to a crude cot. They both looked peaceful as they slept. The madness I'd seen on their faces before was completely gone. Are they really going to be alright? Yes. The analysis I did on the files confirmed that the duplicate was real Excelivir. The original was genuine too, of course. Now that they've been treated... It's only a matter of time before the virus is eliminated. I believe so, yes. Oh man, what a relief. I was really worried. Clover grinned. <laughs> we can see that. Agreed. I gave her a reassuring pat on the back. While she was grinning. Yeah, this is what it was like. Five minutes remain until Ambidex game polling closes. Alright everybody, we can be relieved later. Right now we need to get to the AB rooms and fast. Damn. Don't even have time to catch our breath. Come on, let's go. Isn't it his fault? The floor A warehouse is waiting. Uh, yeah, I think so, but... Right. It's the usual thing if he, he like, he didn't know that... Right. That'd be a big problem. Warehouse A. Is that Ariel? Or um, Helvetica? It looks like Ariel. Ariel and Helvetica are almost identical. They're very, like, the only And Calibri. Way... Oh, Cal Calibri's kind of different. Or Calibri. But like, the main way that you can tell, the main way that I can tell the difference between Ariel and Helvetica is the capital A. Mm -hmm. the, uh, the crossbar is a little lower on one than on the other one. Yeah. It's like, it's such a slight difference, and I forget which one it is, so. I think it's Helvetica that's lower. Yeah. I don't, I, I think this is Ariel, though. Yeah. <clears throat> huh? Where's Temioji? Oh, uh, he stayed back in the infirmary. What? Why? Well, when we were all heading out, I noticed he wasn't doing anything. So I asked him if he was coming with us. And this is what I got. I'm still worried about Quark and Alice. I think I'll stick around and make sure they're okay. I see. That means that Phi's only opponent will be Dio. One-on-one, -on -one, huh? Ugh. That's cool. Nothing to worry about. I plan to choose Ally. You know why? Because I've only got one BP. Exactly. You chose Ally and I betrayed you. Your BP would drop below zero and... Well, we know what happens then. I want to win, but I'm not that desperate. You see what I'm saying, right? She still has to pick Betray. 
Yeah. Ten Yoji and Dio are a pair. Ten Yoji only had one BP left. Since Dio said he's going to pick an ally, Fi can't really pick anything else. If she does, Ten Yoji will. Um... Yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> oh, that does change it. Kay and I are going to be going one on one too, right? Since Quark's still sleeping. That is correct. <laughs> How many BP do you guys have? I've got six. As do I. <laughs> this will be a tough one then. If one of them can get the other to ally and then betray that person, the betrayer will have nine points. Look, Kay, I know you don't really have any reason to trust me, but... I know. You would like us both to vote ally, yes? I yeah. I agree. If we were to both betray, then we would gain no points. We would lose nothing either, but that's hardly relevant. If both of us cooperate, then we will both gain two points, which is much more beneficial. Oh yeah, everybody talks a big game before the vote about this type of shit. Right. And then they get in there before... <laughs> and it's always betray, betray, betray. And, and they're like... <laughs> Betray. <laughs> That's what they always do. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Their eyes go wild. They walk in all normal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll ally. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> right. Okay. Good. It's like it's like Abu in the original animated Aladdin when he sees the jewel. Yeah, and he's like, ah. Yeah. You're really gonna do it, right? Yes. Promise. Promise. Oh my god, promises mean nothing to you people! Promise, Pinky promise! One minute remains. <laughs> You're all Shit, this dead. Is bad. We need to move now. Indeed. Shall we? Yeah, let's go. Who's our partner? Dio. Oh wait, we're solo. We're, I think solo. we're solo. And Alice is one, and I think Luna's the other one. So it's us against Luna, isn't it? Dio, K, Fi, and Clover all took off immediately, heading into different A B rooms. Counting from the left, Dio went to room three. K went to room four. Fi and Clover went to rooms five and six, respectively. That's weird. They usually don't... He usually doesn't say that. Yeah. They left Luna and myself. <laughs> what do you think about taking the one on the far left? Sounds good. Oh, no, we're with her, so we're against Alice. I think... I thought we were solo. Well, that's settled. We head into AB room number one. Wait, but we were a solo. That must have been the other route. Because I remember thinking, like, well, we've never been a solo before. Yeah. I think it was the other route. Yeah. Oh well. Yeah, because we were going against Phi. Yeah. Hmm. I can't remember. All right. All right. How many BP does Alice have? I wish we could check. Because um, they automatically ally, right, when they're not. Well, well seconds we allied with her. Did she betray us, though? I can't. I. She has points because we did not betray her. Right. In the first round, because we're on the ally path. So she has at least five. She might okay. have six. Okay. Um, it's probably a little late to say this, but you know Alice is still in the infirmary, so... You're saying we should pick ally, right? Since Alice is going to default to that anyway. Yes. I know. It's not really fair to betray somebody who isn't voting. Luna's face broke into a warm, happy smile. Not to be sappy, but it was like a ray of sunshine on a cloudy day. <laughs> I grinned back at her before I knew what I was doing. For a minute, the nonary game didn't seem so scary. Ten seconds oh my god. Alright, what do you want to do? Seven, Ally or betray? Six, five, four, oh, we have three, open choice right now, right? Two, one. Yeah. Like we haven't already done one. No, 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 yeah. Let's... Let's betray. Let's just start that one. Kimmy's eyes just went like this. I was like, <laughs> what would be nice? Let's betray! <laughs> yeah, let's betray. And then we'll go back in ally. We're Round coming back! Of the Hot on the heels has been completed. Of drama! Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on, come on. We don't got all day. Snapped really close to my eyeball. What, right here? Right here. <laughs> Luna and I stepped out of the AB room. Why? What happened to 
It's not fair to betray someone who isn't voting. It's fine, Luna. I Don't worry. <laughs> There's you nothing I can yourself? think of. I am. Thank you. Are you happy with your decision? I am. There's nothing I could think of to say. Even I didn't really understand why <laughs> I'd pick Betray instead. My hand slipped. And it felt almost unconscionable. Unconscious. <laughs> like some other part of my mind was making the decision. Me! Perhaps I'd been possessed by some sort of evil spirit that had moved my finger to the Betray button against my will. <laughs> right. Well, we should go see the results. Really? We already know what they are. It's just simple math. The look in her eyes was more painful than any punch I'd ever taken. I'm taking way too much glee in this. <laughs> I turned away and almost ran toward the projector. Anything to get away from those eyes. Oh no, Luna's upset. <laughs> Results from round two of the Ambidex game. Please stop. Right, here we go. I'll be interested to see what Dio voted. Yeah. Because he does seem different, this branch. <gasps> yep. Yep. <gasps> what? How did Alice betray? That's why it told us where everyone went. Oh, shit. But look at this, too. Everyone betrayed. We've never seen that. All that talk. That was amazing. All that big talk about, I promise I'll ally. I promise. Yeah, if we both vote ally, we'll get two points. At least now everyone's going to be like, ha, 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 ha. That's the thing, everybody in the comments. Because everybody in the comments is always like, oh, can we just vote an ally? What's everyone just vote? This be is what would happen. Because people suck. Yeah, when you get in greedy. that room and it's counting down and you're like, but what if they... Yeah, it's the only surefire way to protect yourself. Because yeah. either you beat them or y'all get nothing. So everybody's at like max paranoia here. Which also, look, we're at one. So if we had picked Ally, we'd be dead. Yeah, Alice would have killed us. Yeah, so... Come at me now! Points have been assigned. Please check your bracelet. On the plus to see side, your updated bracelet points. No one's at nine. Yeah. <laughs> but we're gonna have a mad aftermath here. This is great. What? It wasn't possible. I blinked, rubbed my eyes, and looked again. <laughs> it was very nice. <laughs> No. How can Alice's vote be betray? That's not possible. Alice. She was standing inside the second room from the left. The room that should have been empty. Why? My mind was still reeling. Where did she come from? Why is she glowing? As I was trying to form a sentence, she began to move toward us. Trying to kill me, are you? From around me, I heard a chorus of muted gasps. It seemed we were united in our surprise and confusion. Alice drew to a stop in front of me and glanced up at the display. Thought you'd get an easy couple points, huh? Not so easy when you have to look your victim in the eye, is it? Coward. You were trying to kill me, you big old bitch! Yeah, and see, this is the point where I'd be like, what if I had chosen ally? And then they're like, but you did it. Neither did you! <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it just becomes a bunch of finger pointing. Yeah, it's just a bunch of screaming. <laughs> me a yeah. coward? You got some balls saying that to me after you picked Betray. Why are you even here? You gave me the antivirus, didn't you? Ted Mioji told me. Thank you. I mean that from the bottom of my heart, honestly. But you Get should out of here. the effects of the anesthetic. Yes, well, I still am. A bit. I have a throbbing headache, and I can barely stand. It's horrible. You seem to be doing fine, Booby McGee. I'm more resistant to anesthetics than most people. Because a result of, your of blood. my training. I have a feeling Zero Senior knew that. They gave me way more than the standard dose of that gas when they kidnapped me. In any event, a few minutes ago I woke up in the infirmary. Ten Mioji explained what was going on, and I got here as fast as I could. 
So he showed up right after we'd gone into the AB room. Yes, right in the nick of time, too. About 10 seconds before the deadline, as I recall. You did that just so you could betray us? Right. What? Don't I get to do that? I mean, it turned out to be the right thing to do, didn't it? You two chose betray. If I'd stayed back there, I'd have lost two points. So you're saying it was self-defense? Yes. You're full of shit. Yeah. Self-defense my ass. You chose betray because you wanted out. You had six BP. Yep. If I'd picked ally, you would've had nine. That's what you were trying to do, right? So what if I was? Are you serious? You would've killed me. Because she betrayed in the first round when we yep. picked ally. Which is where she she changed her vote, remember? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because when we pick ally, she picks betray. When we pick betray, she picks ally. Right, yeah. so she can yell at us. Yeah. Look, I only have one BP. Mm. You were this close to murdering me. Mm. Just admit it. You were planning to kill me so you could escape. <laughs> Don't be stupid. I knew you'd choose betray. No. There was... Tell the truth. That is the truth. Why am I the only one getting the third degree here? Look at those results. Two other people just tried to kill someone. Yeah, and they're poopy heads too. Yeah. Yes. Fine, Dio. If Dio had chosen ally, Phi would have killed Tenmyoji. And if she'd chosen ally, Dio would have killed her. I don't want to be rude, but it looks like Clover and Kay tried to trick one another. Not that it seems to have worked. <laughs> If either one had chosen ally, the other one would have 9 BP right now. I turned to look at the results again. Before, I'd only been looking at my own. And realized that there was only one word all across the roster. Betray. <laughs> Whatever trust we'd managed to build had fallen apart. Everyone was suspicious of everyone else. Had it been the bombs? Or had it been something else? Whatever the reason, if it kept up, we'd never manage to escape. We'd be trapped in a cycle of zero point rounds for the rest of our lives. Something had to be done. I closed my eyes and took a deep breath. All right guys, pay attention. You probably already all figured this out, but we can't keep going like this. Oh, sorry. If we don't start picking ally, we're never gonna get out of here, that's probably what he said. Yeah. I might as well have been talking to a wall. My apologies, Sigma. But I need to think on something for a bit. I would appreciate being left alone. Okay. Oh, wait. I'll be leaving, too. Was he saying, like, Kay? I think he was, was saying, he saying, like, like Kay. Kay. No, I think he was, like, saying his Kay. name, like, Kay, wait. No, he was saying like, okay. Oh, sure. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Okay. 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 What ups? Things are getting a little too intense here for my delicate constitution. Sorry. <laughs> Dio. You got another bomb to well, plant? in that case. At two, five? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. <laughs> At About two. <laughs> yeah, who who actually says that in real life? Come on, Sigma. You know. Sometimes I do. Without another word, she turned and left the warehouse. Dio and Kay quickly followed suit. See? There's your answer. In the end, everyone's just thinking about themselves. So I would appreciate it if you could not treat me like I'm the only villain here. Then never on, yell at me again! Kimmy hates Alice. She Hold is on. a bit I'm pompous. Coming. You feeling okay? Well, wow. Clover's still her. I was really worried, friend. you know. <laughs> I watched them walk away. Clover practically jumping with delight to have Alice back. Oh my God! So glad to have this potential murderer back. That's right. Before long, they reached the yellow door and disappeared beyond it. Everyone's gone. You? Aren't you gonna leave too? No. Are you sure? I chose Betray. I know, but I still believe in you, Sigma. I think your hand must have just slipped or something. Right? Luna, don't be an idiot. 
She's just too pure for this world. Is she? I think she's very naive. We had one BP. We had to do something to protect ourselves. Which is the argument that I will make now. Because before I just wanted to be chaotic evil. That's all. Give me a headache sometimes. Good. That's what I'm here for. I'm going to break up with you. Go out with Luna. Weird. <laughs> <laughs> Great. <laughs> Sounds like a good out for me. I'm sure real doll can replicate her appearance. Yeah. <laughs> I come back to pick up my stuff and you're like, the woman of the house <laughs> has started using your things. She's sitting on the couch. Yeah. <laughs> also, we're at $2,000. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my chest hurt. And when I blinked, I felt something hot and wet, and wet pricked the corner of my eyes. <laughs> Luna, I, I bit my lip. Before I could think of anything to say, the metallic rumble of the doors closing echoed throughout the warehouse. The Amadex gates <laughs> have closed. Round through star key. There is the ambidex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. star keys. Don't no limit. I kind of bit my lip a little hard. Gabby, gentle. As many times as we want, yes, huh? As long as we have the star keys, that means boop, we boop, can boop. keep playing the AB game over and over too. Yeah, yeah, we can keep so playing it. Do you remember what Zero Junior said? As soon as the gates close, your colors get all shuffled up automatically. Ah! Oh yeah, we don't know anybody's thing. Yeah, I remember. Um, let's see here. I'm a cyan pear. What about you? I'm a magenta pear. Wonder what the others are. We could be anything, I suppose. We won't know until we have a look. Hmm. We've got about 80 minutes until the next set of chromatic doors open. So, what should we do now? Everyone else has gone off on their own. Yeah. Physically and emotionally. I really don't like how this is going. It won't matter how many times we repeat the AB game if nobody trusts anybody else. We'll never be able to get out of here. Maybe it would help if we all had a common goal. Something to unite our hearts and minds. Getting out of here? Yeah, but not all of them. They're not invested in all of them getting out. I think it should be the bombs, trying to figure out where they came from and how to get rid of them. Kimmy loves doing this. They've all seen me do it before. She loves doing that. Yeah, but we've already got something like that. We all want to get out of here. That seems like a pretty clear goal to me, but everybody chose betray. Those monsters! Including me. Well, what if we have an enemy? An enemy? Yes. A common foe. Like the person who set the bombs, for instance. After coming back from the lab, I told her about the bomb while she gave Alice and Quark the Accelivere. <laughs> That's like the writers being like, oh shit, when did he say that? Uh. It just happened, but y'all didn't uh, just, see it. It's fine. Oh, oh, by the way, he said it here. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, that might work. If we can figure out which one of us planned those bombs, then everyone else would work together against them. Right. But how do we figure out who it is? Well, do you have any clues? Um. Hmm. Clues, huh? That's right. The memory card. I pulled it out of my pocket and held it out toward her. What's this? I told you, a memory card. It was under the bomb we found in the lab. I think whoever set the bomb dropped it. Really? Yeah. I don't know what's on it though. We couldn't find any kind of memory card reader. Oh, I guess we can't really use it then. Because they don't know oh, about the TV and the... Wait a second. Oh, here we go. You know what? I think I might have seen something. Huh? Yes, I remember. The infirmary. I saw it when I was searching the infirmary with Dio and Quark. There 
there was a memory card just like that one. Then... Yes! I think we can see what's on it. The computer there should be able to read it. No comments? Nothing? No, I'm excited to see what's on it. Lou and I exploded into the infirmary, nearly running into Alice Clover and Temioji. Quark was there as well, of course, but it was just as we'd left him sleep on the bed. Hmm. What are you doing here? I opened my mouth to retort, then thought better of it. If I really wanted people to start trusting each other, well, real change starts at home. That's right. As quickly as I could, I explained the second bomb in the memory card, and how we'd come to the infirmary in hopes that we could discover the contents of the ladder. Okay. Then stick it in already! That's what she said. Okay, recording that? <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. It comes your text message alert. <laughs> yeah, it'll be, it'll be my ringtone. Yeah. <laughs> right. John's a pervert in this episode. <laughs> Just as we Luna had are. said. What? I said we both are. All right. Just as Luna had said, there was a small slot under the screen. Exactly the right size to, uh, to fit a memory card. Within moments, the screen was filled with what appeared to be random letters. <laughs> what? What is this? Hmm. Six rows, 22 letters each. It looks like the odd rows use one set of letters, and the even rows use another set. Oh, okay, so they're all the same. Yeah. Like, same rows, I mean. In other right. words, the first two rows just repeat. Yeah. Is this some kind of code or something? It doesn't look random to me. I mm -hmm. think there might be a pattern. I just don't know what it is. Was there anything else on there? No, it doesn't look like it. So all we get is this gibberish. Hey, Alice. You haven't said anything for a while. What's up? Does any of this look familiar to you, Clover? Um, what do you mean? Have you seen something like this before? Maybe during your training? Training? <gasps> this is... So you do recognize it. All right, knock it off, you two. How about you share it with the rest of the class? Alice sighed and stretched her neck from side to side. I believe this is an encoded message from a terrorist organization. What? They call themselves the Myrmidons. <gasps> Dio's organization. She knows! Myrmidons. For some reason, I felt like I'd heard that name before. What are the Myrmidons? Put simply, they're a bunch of thugs who are trying to destroy or dismantle most of human civilization. So this thing <laughs> so we're weird. looking at... <laughs> you think it's theirs? Well, they have a number of different codes, but I do think this is one of them. Then the bomb? It was set by one of the Myrmidons, wasn't it? Yes. Well, I can't say for sure, of course, but it seems likely. Huh. Damn. I've got a ton of questions for you. Let me start with this one. What the heck does that thing say? I don't know. <laughs> what? How am I supposed to decode it? I don't know. I don't have the key. Without a key, it would take literally hundreds of years to decode. What about you, Clover? Well, if Alice doesn't know how, I sure don't. Uh, see. Hmm. Not much we can do then. We can come back to that code stuff later. I've got another question. Alice, Clover, who the hell are you? Yeah! What do you know about this code? That's... Classified. Yeah. You told me your job was to eliminate enemies of the state or something like that. Just what the hell kind of a job is that? I think it's time you told us what you do. Sorry, but I can't. Why not? Because you might be one of them. You might be the person who set the bomb. That's idiotic. Of course I'm not- Really? And where's your proof? For all I know, you're my enemy. I can't tell you anything. I'm not your enemy. I'm your ally. I'm your friend. Friend? I just want all of us to get out of here. Just please, tell us. Please. We need to find out who did this so we can all escape. 
We have too little information. We need your help. Fine. If you won't tell us about yourself, then just tell us about the Myrmidons. What else do you know about them? I'm sorry. Before I could blink, she'd leapt up and run out of the room. Coward! Yeah, you're, cow you're a coward. Yeah. Hey, wait! Alice! <laughs> I took off after her. Okay. Yeah, that's just gonna make you look bad, dude. Well, we're going How to be How long are you going to keep following me? Tell you, tell me what you know. Then why don't you just ask Clover? Clover? You already know she works with me. Well, yeah. Then why don't you... She's not hot. Trait. I want to hear from you. Why? That's a good question. Remember the crew quarters? Or this garden? We got paired up for two separate rounds. That means I've spent more time with you than anyone else here. Maybe that's it. I guess I'm just curious about you. What are you talking about? Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> you betrayed me twice, by the way. Yeah. She spun around to hide it, but I caught a blush of red on her cheeks. <laughs> we walked down the path to where it ended next to the pond. The way you try to kill me is really hot. <laughs> uh -huh. <laughs> I stayed silent. Alice sat down on the bench. We gazed at the smooth surface of the pond for several long minutes before she began to speak. You don't hate me? What? Why? I... I tried to kill you. You mean the A-B game? Yes. I'm She's like, so no, scared. Before. Who wouldn't be? Kidnapped and locked up, forced to play some sort of bizarre game. And then we found that bomb. I know I probably sounded calm, but as soon as we found that thing, all I wanted to do was run away from it as fast as I could. Things just went downhill from there. What do you mean? I remember hearing that Quark had collapsed and running to the infirmary with everyone else. When I got there, I realized I couldn't understand what anyone was saying. And everything looked... I don't know how to describe it. It was like watching a video on Fast Forward, only it was real. Then I started to feel like... It's hard to explain. I guess you could say I didn't feel like I was myself, and it only got worse. That was probably the Radical Six. Yes, I think so. I don't remember much after that. But when I woke up in the infirmary, suddenly all that fear was back. So I... All I could think about was getting out of this place as fast as I could. It's crazy, because, like, the game looks pretty good in a lot of places, but whenever they do this, like, still shot thing, it sucks. It yeah. never even crossed my mind that it could kill you. God help me, it, even if it had, I don't think I would have cared. Cool, See? thanks. I'm horrible. You hate me, don't you? Just do it! What? Do what? Kill me! Get it over with! What the hell, Alice? I'm not gonna kill you. I don't even hate you. You're lying! I could have killed you. I would have killed you. Come on, calm down. No one's killing anyone. Except for the bombs. A single tear rolled down Alice's cheek. <laughs> then another, and another, leaving shining lines across her face. And her boobs. Just, <laughs> it kept rolling down. It kept down, running down her cheek. Down. Down her. Down the side of her neck, breasts. Onto her engorged breasts. <laughs> I hate the word engorged. I, I, know. I know. I just want to be as gross as possible. Oh, man. Did I succeed? Yes, you did a great job. I'm very proud of you. I'm successful, finally. <laughs> when I reached out, I saw her tense just slightly. Slowly, I brushed my thumb across her cheek and off, taking her tears with it. No! <laughs> Why They're are you just doing this? Wipe away that tear. You know, I read uh, Twilight, the first Twilight book. Did you really? Yeah. Just to see what all the hype was about. Right. It's so bad. 
this one part where Edward... I'll never forget this. I talk about it anytime I get a chance to. There's one part where uh, Edward... Or Edward, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Ed Bella's crying and Edward, like, whisks away one of her tears and eats it. He literally eats her tears. If you ever did that to me, I would be out the door so fast. That's something that, like was literally written down in the book. Okay. You know, you kind of remind me of my father. Uh, oh no. That's who you were after, right? The people things who killed your dad? Weird. Huh? But things are getting weird. Yes. No. Do they have anything to do with the Myrmidons? Will you promise not to tell Clover that I cried? <laughs> Come on. Of course I will. I'll tell you what you want to know about myself and about the Mirrodons. Deal? Sure. My lips are sealed. Really? Really? What crying? I don't remember any crying. Good. All right, then. I also took a deep breath and began. You're up. Okay. Pay attention. Hold on, my watch is on really tight and I can't feel my hand. Okay. My father is Egyptian, but my mother is French. They met while my mother was in Egypt on vacation and married shortly thereafter. You can fade out the crying voice, because <laughs> otherwise you're gonna be doing that for a long time. I know. Okay. <laughs> when I was three, we all moved to the US. My father was a scientist and his field was cloning. He was recruited by an American lab, which was why we moved. Both of my parents had used English around me from the time I was born, so I didn't have any problems adapting to life in the United States. But my ninth birthday, we'd been there for six years. That was when it had... that is when it happened. In the middle of the day, my mother showed up at school. Her eyes were red and puffy, but she didn't say anything to me on the drive home. When we arrived, there were several policemen there to meet us. My father had always been a very punctual man, and when dinner time came and went with no sign of him, even I began to realize something terrible had happened. It wasn't until several years later that I finally learned the truth. My father's lab had been attacked by terrorists, and he had been kidnapped. Wow, so she didn't hear that for several years? For the rest of my childhood, my mother raised me by herself. Well, she was nine when it happened. Yeah, it just seems like she would overhear it at some point, because kids always overhear things. Maybe not always. I guess not in this case. I guess they were more careful in this case. You know what? I would like to read the rest of the story. Thanks. No, no, no. Let's keep talking about this terrible point that you made. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I didn't realize it then, but... It must have been incredibly difficult for her, as a single mother alone in a country where any relatives were a, a transatlantic flight away. That is a long sentence. Mm -hmm. She did her best not to let me see it, but every so often when she thought she was alone, the mask would fall away and in every line of her face I could see exhaustion and loneliness. As much as I missed my father, it was those moments that made me wish more than anything that he'd never been taken. Fortunately, I was, an, uh, I was an excellent student and did especially well in math. I earned a full-ride scholarship straight out of high school and spent the next several years studying. After graduation, I took a job with the Department of Defense, hoping that they might have the resources to help me look for my father. That's not a good reason to get a job. I was, right. imme <laughs> I was immediately assigned to the Special Office of Internal Security. Their purpose is to investigate and sometimes deal with terrorist organizations and other serious threats to the state. Also, those departments would be like, let's look into your background. Oh, your father was kidnapped? You're not getting a job with us. Right. Because they would figure that this is something that would happen. I could tell my mother wasn't happy about my decision, but she chose to remain silent about it. Eventually, I learned that the terrorist organization that had taken my father was none other than the Myrmidons, and although at the time that name didn't mean anything to me. They were suspected of human cloning, 
Specifically, it was thought that they had been using cloning techniques to copy their most useful members and expand their ranks. The Myrmidons apparently believed that they could use cloning to create a new race of humans. Now, at last, I knew the reason for my father's abduction. The commander of the Myrmidons is a main is a main is a man named Left. Oh yeah, this is what Dio told us. Mm-hmm. We know his name and his gender, but not his appearance or his age. Isn't that his He's cloned after Left, right? Dio? Uh yes. The Myrmidons are closely associated with a cult known as Free the Soul. Yeah, Dio is a, a left clone. Mm -hmm. We believe that Free the Soul provides their funding. But trying to pen any kind of misdeeds on the cult's leader, a man named Brother. Oh, maybe he's Brother's clone. No, no, no. Brother's the leader of Free the Soul. Brother's, brother's brother was left. Right. And he left... Well, I don't know if that's been revealed. I, Yeah. Yeah. But all you need to know is that Dio is a clone of Left. Okay. Uh, but trying to pen any misdeeds of... Uh, on the cult... But trying to pen any kind of misdeeds on the cult's leader, a man named Brother, is like trying to nail Jello to a wall. Hell of a metaphor. <laughs> Brother is supposed to be fairly advanced in years, and rumors say he's so old he can't even get out of bed. Unfortunately, his mind seems to be as sharp as ever. At that point, I hit a wall. I knew the Myrmidons had been behind my father's kidnapping, but that was all I could learn about them. Then one day, I got a tip that some of them were hiding in a building in the Nevada desert. Nevada, Nevada, Nevada desert. I headed out immediately. Can you just read? I tried. Thank you. On the way there, my car had some engine trouble and stalled out. And this is what she was wearing. An agent. I was trying to decide what to do when an SUV appeared out of nowhere. I'll give you one guess who was behind the steering wheel. Clover. That was the first time we met. There were four other people in the car with her, and when I asked about asked them about what they were doing, I got when I asked them what they were doing, I got what was just about the last answer I'd expected. There needs to be like a comma there. Yeah, that needs to be two or three different sentences. I don't know if that... Yeah, yeah. It needs to be another sentence, but... I don't know if the comma is grammatically correct. Commas have weird rules, but it would just help break it up. Yeah, there needs to be a comma after doing. Yeah. They told me they'd been locked up inside of that very building I'd been on my way to investigate, and that they were currently in pursuit of the people who had kidnapped them in the first place. My priorities shifted very quickly. After a short discussion, I convinced them to allow me to come along. My hope was to find the people they were chasing, who I was certain were Myrmidons. In the end, however, we were unable to track them down. In fact, I still don't know where they might have gone. So it was June and... What was the guy's name? her brother um santa thank you santa yeah eventually i took clover and her companions to sois headquarters we decided that involving the police would only complicate things after some questioning it was determined that the people who had instigated this particular event were not connected to the myrmidons we did however discover that the mysterious disappearance and subsequent reappearance of several children nine years prior was connected to free the soul there was also a sixth person in the SUV, although they weren't riding in it, per se. Ace. Yeah. A middle-aged man, who I'll just call H for now, had been bound and placed in the trunk. According to the other four, he had been behind the disappearance of the children nine years earlier. We also learned that his pharmaceutical company, a major player on the world stage, was effectively controlled by Free the Soul. Mm. More specifically, I suppose, H was a member of Free the Soul and very committed to their cause. <clears throat> so why had he kidnapped all those children? 
Apparently, it had been part of an experiment designed to test the ability of certain people to access what's called the morphogenetic field. I think that's the first time that's been mentioned in this entire game. Probably. The morphogenetic field. I don't imagine you've ever heard of it before, so I'll try and give you a quick rundown. Simply put, these people can access a sort of field that allows their consciousness to resonate with the consciousnesses of certain other people. To be honest, it might be simpler to, call, to just call it telepathy. The SOIS had heard of this particular ability before, and had actually used it in a number of investigations, so I wasn't surprised to learn of its, ex of its existence. I was shocked, however, to learn that these experiments had been carried out by a member of Free the Soul. If that was the case, then Brother must have known about it. The thought of him discovering a way to control and harness that power was terrifying. It wasn't too long after the incident in Nevada that another tip about the Myrmidons crossed my desk. This time, it claimed that the Myrmidons intended to launch a large-scale biological terrorist attack. My bosses decided that we needed more agents to deal with a threat of that magnitude, and Clover was recruited. Because she'd been a test subject in H's experiment, we knew she had the ability to access the morphogenetic field, and we wanted to put that ability to use. Like, I get why they got Clover, but also it kind of cracks me up that they, like, recruited her as, like, a special agent. I know. <laughs> Stupid Clover. Uh, but her brother wasn't still with them. So, snake, yeah. So who could she... I thought it was always a specific connection that they had. Or was it just, like, any receiver... They kind of they kind of change how it works a little bit. Okay. Um. Because I think in nine 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 there's like a transmitter and a receiver. Right. But it, and they have to have some sort of connection. Right. But they kind of make it a little, little more general in this one. Okay. Yeah. After several months of training, she was sent on her first mission. She would be tasked with the infiltration and investigation of the Myrmidon cloning lab. I was assigned to be her commanding officer. I hoped that our investigation might also give me a lead on my father's whereabouts. <clears throat> At last, I had a chance to find out what had happened to him. I wouldn't let that chance pass me by. Perhaps that what was, perhaps that was what kept me from noticing the truth. The whole operation was a trap. The lab was fake and Clover was captured almost immediately. I got there as fast as I could, but when I arrived, the building was only an empty shell. There's a lot of duplicate information and analysis with Clover's yeah. story. But Clover's is so long ago, I'm glad that we have this. Yeah. All, of the conspirator all of the conspirators who had pretended to be researchers and the like had already fled. I searched frantically for Clover until at last, in a basement room, I found her. She had been tied to a chair, but on the floor next to her was another body. It was my father. He looked as if he'd just been dumped there, and when I got to him, his body was already cold. He was covered in dark, ugly bruises. It wasn't until later that I learned he had died from ruptured organs and internal bleeding. They had beaten him to death. As soon as Clover had been captured, a Myrmidon in a mask had come to visit her. He'd said that unless she wanted to end up like my father, she would leave them alone and tell her masters at the SOIS to do likewise. Her masters? I know. <laughs> kind of a department kind of is an, SOIS. Yeah, kind of. Ooh. Does S stand for sadism? Probably. In retrospect, they must have known who I was and who my father was. That was why they'd killed him. Perhaps they thought they were sending a message to me. Or that once he was gone, I'd lose my reason for chasing them. They were very, very wrong. I took Clover with me and left. I tried to console myself with the fact that I had, at least, been able to save her. Sometime later, I received a call from the coroner. 
He told me there was something I needed to see. There in the morgue was my father, cold and pale on the steel table. I could barely stand to look at him, but the coroner insisted. Sorry, am I taking up a lot of space? Yes. I'm a, man, a woman spreading. Yeah. On his arm were two rows of numbers comprised of eights and nines. It took me a moment to recognize my father's handwriting. He had carved them into his own skin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's move on. Come on. On his chest was another message, but they were letters this time, not numbers. Not many. Just enough to make a short sentence. I love you, Alice. I broke down crying right there in the morgue. They were the first tears I'd shed since the operation had started, and there was no stopping them. There would be no forgiveness. Not for the monsters who'd put my father through this. They destroyed my family. I would make them pay, even if I had to die to do it. That night, I made a promise to myself. I would avenge my father. I would avenge my father! <laughs> it didn't take long to figure out that the numbers he'd written were latitude and longitude. They pointed to a chemical factory that had been disguised as an abandoned building. Further investigation revealed that it was the mother load we'd been looking for. The headquarters of the Myrmidons. The mother load. The mother load. I think my father must have known how things would turn out. Knowing he was going to die, he'd written the directions to our enemy's fortress on his own body. He'd sacrificed too much for me to waste this opportunity with recklessness. This time, our operation would succeed. This time, I wouldn't let my excitement put Clover or any of my other ag agents in danger. So we took our time, we gathered information, we did our research, and we planned. Finally, we were ready. She talks so much. <laughs> December 25th, 2028 was going to be the day we finally set foot inside the Myrmidon stronghold. <gasps> but if you remember... But then on the 22nd, only three days before the operation was scheduled to begin, a man in a gas mask appeared. Talked for like 30 minutes. I think Alice's little. You don't like her. Exposition dump is like the worst one. <laughs> it's certainly the most disappointing. Yeah. Because the entire time in the game, you're like, why is this Egyptian princess? And then she's like, no, I've actually, I have a dad who was alive yeah. like she just, 10 years ago. Her name is just Alice. She just happens to dress like an Egyptian princess. She's a MacGuffin. Yeah, it's a MacGuffin. Very disappointing. One of the few disappointing things about this game. Yeah. Point out. So you inhaled that gas, passed out, and woke up here in the AB room. Yes. Well, there it is. Everything that's happened with the Myrmidons and me. I left a few of the details out, of course, but you get the idea. Yeah. Thanks. She gave me a sad sort of smile and stood up. We should go back. Not yet. Your story explained a lot, but there's still one big question. Which is? <laughs> da -da 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 -da. <laughs> Which is? Let's bring back the investigation. All right. Why are you an Egyptian queen? <laughs> Who here is a Myrmidon? Myrmidon. I always want to say Myrmidon. Yeah, because it, it kind of- sounds better than Myrmidon. Myrmidon. In my opinion. One of us planted the bombs. Based off the code we found. It's pretty clear that person is a Myrmidon. Right? Yes. And I agree that we need to figure out who they are. What do you propose we do? Well, that's what I wanted to ask you about. Do you have any clues? Clues? You're hmm. the one with all the training! Well, if I could decrypt that code, it might tell us something, but... How can we do that? I told you. We need a key. 
Without that, it's pointless. What's a key? A key is a key. It allows you to sort of unlock a code. Myrmidons usually use this huge string of numbers as a key. Wait, a long string of numbers? Could that be... We unlocked Dio's ending so we know the string of numbers. Right. Seven eight one five three six one zero nine eight eight three eight zero nine four two four one nine nine zero five five one. What the hell? I was almost as surprised as she was. <gasps> He's like, and oh damn. The numbers had just kind of appeared in my mind, and I was saying them before I knew what I was doing. Alice looked at me incredulously, and I stared back. Where did? Wait. Can you say that again? Uh. He repeats it. That's 198,449,351 to the third power. What? That, that number you just told me. Prime factor decomposition on that number gets you 198,449,351 to the third power. What? You're talking about reducing an integer to a series of prime numbers that you multiply together to get it, right? Like, if you have 30, then you'd get 2 times 3 times 5, right? Exactly. You probably learned that in junior high, right? <laughs> That's easy stuff. Duh! Duh! Everyone you knows! You idiot! You ID! Prime number decomposition! What an IG over here! <laughs> I graduated third grade. Isn't I even... know prime number decomposition. Duh. So you're saying that number is a prime. <laughs> and if you multiply it by itself three times, you get... The original the number, number he, he said. Yes. Yeah. Don't tell me you just did all that in your head. I did do all of that in my head. Simple mental arithmetic. Uh, I did do all of that. Simple mental arithmetic. What? No, no way. She did say she was That's gifted That's impossible. In, she did say she was gifted in math. I told you. The maths. I'm better at math than most people. That's not better at math. <laughs> Look at you. You just recited a huge string of numbers. That seems pretty astounding, too. I don't want to talk Where about it. Where did you it. find that number anyway? I... I didn't know what to say. What would I tell her? That it just came to me? Can't tell me, huh? Fine. I'm pretty sure that's the key to the code, though. I know the Myrmidons use prime factors for their keys. And there aren't a lot of 25-digit numbers that turn out to be the third power of a prime number. I think there's a very good chance that number you memorized was specifically created by someone. Uh... Could you explain that with small words? Well, look at the prime factors of your number. Shake my dum dum. <laughs> to the third power. I think that's our hint for cracking the code. You still don't get it? Try Shut to remember up. the code we saw in the infirmary. What did it say on the monitor? Letters. Um, I think the first row was... He recites it. And the second row? He recites it. There's absolutely no I way. I think. He has a really good memory though, remember? Yeah. And then they just repeat. Wow, you've got a pretty impressive memory. We could really use someone like you back at the... Um... Well, keep going. How do we decode that? You use 198,449,351 to point you to the right letters. How do we do that? Oh well, my god, go slower, why don't you? So take the first letter. The next number is 9, so go 9 letters over from the first one. Then 8 from that one. Just keep going until you get something. Make sense? I ran over what she'd said in my head. The prime number Alice had given me was... Yeah. So what would we get if we picked out letters like she'd explained? First letter would be C, from the top left. Then you move 9 to the right, which would give you O. o and then M, and then P. It spells out COMPUTER! Yep. <laughs> Eventually we get a word, and that word was... You have six chances to succeed. Fail and the game is over. Okay, so one C. Nine O eight M o, eight four M. P. Four P comp. And then four. And then we go to the next. Comp L. Line? Yeah. L. 
is four over, and then nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. E. E. Then three. T. Five. One, two, three, four. E. Completed is completed. what it says. Completed. Yeah. It ends right here. Completed. Completed. Okay. Yes. Thank. You. Completed. We got it. Boom, 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 baby. Pretty easy. Yeah. <laughs> we could have gotten that without the key. <laughs> I did it. I already it. knew it. <laughs> Completed. That's it. That's the answer. Completed? Are you sure? Yeah. I did exactly what you told me to do. And the word I got is completed. Well, actually, it's completed, completed, completed. The code and the letters repeat every two lines. It just repeats. Hmm. Well, I can't remember the code like you can, but if you're certain, I believe you. I'm definitely certain. All right, then. I wonder what completed is supposed to mean, though. Bombs. What? Aside from the obvious, you mean. I'm guessing here it means mission complete. I bet it's for the three bombs. So that's what the transmitter was for. Huh? What are you talking about? What transmitter? I barely even heard her. Suddenly, my mind was full of memories that hadn't been there a moment before. It was like a wave had washed away the sand, revealing a bed of precious gems underneath. Oh, so he knows that it's Dio. Mm hmm Damn it! Why hadn't I realized it before? I could remember a series of numbers, but not this? At least I remembered it now. Dio was a member of the Myrmidons. And not just any member, he was their leader. That mean- That meant he had to be the one who'd planted the bombs. Hey, are you listening to me? He's not brother, though. Right. <laughs> yeah. Then answer my question. What the hell was that? What's this about a transmitter? I didn't trust myself to try and explain it to her. More than likely, she'd just think I was insane. Even I could barely make sense of the sudden influx of new information. Wait. Don't tell me you're one of the Myrmidons. If I was, do you really think I'd reveal myself like this? Point. Out of nowhere, Clover appeared. I'm so hungry. Are you hungry? Oh, there you are. I've been looking all over for you. Really? We're all down in the Floor B warehouse. Well, all of us but Luna and Clark. Why? We still got 45 minutes until the white doors open. I know that. Oh, okay. Hey, wait a minute. I thought you, Kay, and Quark didn't know about the white doors. Senmiochi told us about them. They always gotta, they always gotta he have that. He said to show us where they were, so we all followed him down to the Floor B warehouse. I'm assuming you left Quark with Luna? Yeah. Anyway, yeah. when we showed up, Fi and Kay were already there. So? Well, all of a sudden, Fi, Tenmyoji, and Dio all started yelling at each other. What? Why? Did something happen? According to Clover, the last AB game had been the cause of their fight. Even though Ten Miyoji only had one BP, Fi had chosen Betray. He started to fight, and since Dio had pressed Betray on behalf of his team, eventually he got dragged in too. That seems odd. Fi only had one BP too. The choice seems like a perfectly valid defensive move. Ugh! Just come with me! Kay's trying to calm them down, but there's only one of him! Okay, okay. Come on, Alice, let's go! Coming! Coming! 
We're getting close. Getting what? We're getting close. To what? The end of this segment. I think so. Where it's has B? It's not that. It's not that. You don't look cool. You just look dumb. Well, when I do it this way. See, now it's cool. No. Dumb. You look dumb. I'm just kidding. People are going to make that a jiff. I'm just kidding. <laughs> All four of them were still there when we arrived. They seemed to have calmed down a bit. But the tension in the air was almost visible. Felt like I'd stepped into a, a room full of flammable gas. Even the small spark could turn the whole place into a raging inferno. Even Kay, usually so calm and collected, was staying ramrod straight with his hand balled into a fist at his side. Ramrod straight. I don't like it. I want to start using that. I don't like it. Hey, let's move this down. <laughs> that was cool. Look at that. Better than just heads. Yeah, better than just... Yeah, be better than just... Hey, guys! We are here, ready to play the game. Ramrod straight! I looked at Alice, pursed my lips, and then headed over to the angry knot of people occupying most of the room. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're done with that. That's enough of that shit in this. Ah, I punched my microphone. Okay. Stop. I didn't mean to. Stop. Constant <laughs> drama with this one. <laughs> Clover told me what's going on. This whole thing is stupid. You need to knock it off. Stupid? What about this is stupid? We're talking about my life, you self-righteous dick. I know. But yelling at each other isn't going to solve your problem. The best thing for us to do right now is to trust each other and get through this. Wouldn't you agree? Hard to trust someone who tried to kill me. Same to you. I told you letting Dio vote was a stupid idea. What did you think he was gonna do? You might as well have pressed the button yourself. I couldn't just leave Quark alone. That's no excuse. And where do you get off telling me I shouldn't have picked Betray? Did you even think that through? What, I was supposed to pick Ally? If I'd done that, I'd be dead right now. I could say the same thing to you. Damn good thing Dio didn't choose Ally. Please, that's enough from both of you. Sigma's right. This isn't the time to be bickering with each other. Is that Ramrod straight? Yeah. Oh, you don't get to talk. You tried to betray Clover and escape on your own. Perhaps, but I think that's better than merely killing someone. Well, well, I only did it so that she wouldn't kill Tenmyoji. Lies. Arg. <laughs> God damn it. Enough already. I roared with fury, and my voice echoed and rebounded off the walls of the warehouse. Oh my god, Tarzan. Ah! <laughs> Everyone fell silent. I didn't know how long that silence would last, so I decided to put it all on the table. There was only one way I was going to be able to take control of the situation. Deals with the Myrmidons! <laughs> Guys, listen to me. We really don't have time for this. I was met with a number of glares, but I soldiered on. See, the thing is, figured out who planted the bombs. What? Is this why what is you were talking about earlier? Uh, I was like, why is Alice surprised? Didn't we just tell her? Yeah. <laughs> oh no, she doesn't know that we figured uh, it out. Oh, we didn't say, it's Dio. <laughs> sort of, yeah. I know which one of you it is. Well, spit it out then. Please, explain what's going on here. I don't think I need to. They're going to admit they're they're going to admit their guilt in just a few minutes. What? You're all going to hear it straight from the horse's mouth. Or I guess I should say Dio's mouth. Mm. <laughs> what are you on? You think I set those bombs? Yes, I do. Hey, if you're gonna accuse me, you better have some pretty damn good evidence, pal. I'm not accusing you. I'm just stating a fact. Oh yeah? Where the hell did you get that fact? But as it was, I knew taunting alone would be enough to make Dio confess. 
He just played dumb. He was good at it. <laughs> and I'd get nothing. That meant I was going to have to trick him. Well, Crab you see. Dish. Well, you see. I'm actually from Free the Soul. Free the Soul? What's that? Some kind of hippie shoe company? Don't play dumb, Dio. Or should I call you? Left. Brother ordered me to come here. To keep an eye on you. <laughs> It was quick, but for just a moment I saw his eyes twitch. I leapt onto that moment of weakness like a hungry dog on a steak. Fine. Skepticism is understandable. Admirable, even. But perhaps this will convince you. I pressed forward, pulling out every fact I could remember. I told Dio about Brother's background, and how his younger brother, Left, had been murdered. I mentioned casually that the Myrmidons were all clones of a single person. So, still not convinced? How about this? There it is. Blah, 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 blah. Do a little prime factor decomposition on that and you'll get 198-449-351 to the third power. If I'm not who I say I am, how on earth could I possibly know that? What? Also, completed, 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 bitches. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's not possible. You could have just said completed, completed, completed. Finally, so, let's start over, shall we? I was sent here to watch your every move. It seems our wise and noble brother doesn't trust you. He suspects betrayal. No! You're lying! I assure you, I'm not. But if you don't believe me, why don't you go outside and calm yourself with your transmitter? <sighs> no. No! You have to be lying! Brother trusts me! That's why he chose me for this mission! Why would he make me the leader of the Myrmidons if he... Huh? Sorry, what was that? I said, why would he have made me the leader of the Myrmidons if... <laughs> I grinned. Wait, what the hell? Are you fucking kidding me? Sorry, Dio. I've never even seen brother. What the hell was all that? How did you know all those things? Dunno. Maybe I was divinely inspired. Oh, give me that shit! Uh, what's going on? <laughs> Fai's like, I wasn't listening that entire time. Yeah, I got really bored and spaced out. Yeah. What are these it's like, dogs? Dio and I stared at one another while Clover and Temyoji quickly explained to Fai and Kay about the memory card and the number two bomb. And about the code we'd found that was from a terrorist organization called the Myrmidons. That was one sentence! <sighs> so you mean to say someone from the Myrmidons planted the bombs? And Dio pretty much just admitted to doing it? Yeah, basically. Yeah. Yep. Bastards. I'll never forgive you. I heard a low, furious muttering behind me and turned to Alice. Her lips pulled back into a snarl. <laughs> I am going to kill you! Her voice rose to a scream as she charged toward Dio. He ducked out of the way smoothly and pulled something out of his pocket. Whoa there. I like my women a little feisty. But you're taking it a little too far, sweetheart. Tone it down. What? You see this? You know what it is, don't you? Oh my god. Is that... Is that the detonator? Exactly. But I assume you know what happens if I press this button? Yes. I think I do. I'm guessing it'll set off both of the bombs. Mm, well, I wouldn't say both. You mean there's still a number one bomb we haven't found? Correct. And there's one more, too. So there are no. four. There are four bombs? Exactly. I planted four bombs. They're the ones numbered one, two, and three, but there's also one more, bomb number zero. Add all that up and you're looking at about four tons of explosive power. Those go off and it's all over. That's enough oomph to turn this whole place into a smoking crater. Aren't you forgetting something? That'd kill you too. So, I'm ready for that. I've got spares. Spares? Is that what Sigma was talking about? Yeah. Clones. 
I heard Alice whisper something to Clover. Let's go, Clover. Show him all that training wasn't for nothing. Huh? Oh, yeah. Right. Huh? Huh? That's hey. not what I would want to hear. Hey, Clover. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go right now. Huh? Show him that all that training wasn't for nothing. What? Oh, right, yeah! I know exactly what you're talking about! Okay! What are you talking about? Let's go! Before I had a chance to ask them what was going on, they moved. Die, you bastard! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> she roared and leapt toward Dio, Clover following just behind. Alice threw a punch at Dio's face, and as he dodged, Clover spun out from behind her. Look at all this action! Action it turned packed! Right. <laughs> Dio grunted and turned to focus on Alice, but Clover darted in and snatched the detonator from his hand. Clover, get him! Right! Sigma, catch! <laughs> huh? Right. Before I could respond, Clover had thrown the detonator at me. I scrambled to grab it out of the air and held it to my chest. Damn it! Stop! Let me go! Still let go of me, you asshole! He's holding it to his chest. It's a, it's his little switchy. <laughs> it's my switchy. It's Not my yours. little switchy. <laughs> Yelling didn't do any good, and Dio found himself subdued by the skillful teamwork of Alice and Clover. Strangely, though, once they had a hold of him, he stopped struggling. I was reminded of a gazelle with its neck in the mouth of a lion. Had he surrendered? Or did he have some trick up his sleeve? Didn't feel right. I enough to wait long for my misgivings to prove true. The detonator in my hand suddenly began to flash. What? Ha! Serves you right. <laughs> what are you laughing at? You! Her! All of you! God, you're stupid. What? Why? Nuh-uh! See that detonator you threw to Sigma? You activated it. If it gets more than a meter away from me, it sets itself off. We figured someone might try to take it away, so we put in a little safeguard. Since you two were kind enough to take it away from me, the bombs have gone from remote control to countdown timer. Go ahead and destroy the detonator if you want. Won't make any difference now. The bombs are gonna go off no matter what. How long do we have? <laughs> About 30 minutes. That's a long ass time. 30 minutes. Oh no. My condolences. What can we do to stop them? I told you that already. First we need the device that allows us to input information. Then we plug it into each bomb and enter the codes. Hey Alice, who the hell are you? How do you know all this? None of your damn business. Just tell me where the input device is. <laughs> well, that's none of your damn business. <laughs> Fuck! Stop! You're gonna break it! Of course. That's the plan. This is pretty hot. Please I'm super turned on. Stop. Just tell me what I want to know. <laughs> okay! Okay, I'll tell you! It's in my coat! The right hand pocket! Clover, check it out! Right! <gasps> right! Everyone's like, I don't really know how to feel about what's happening yeah, right now. Yeah, everybody's just kind of like, what's going on here? <laughs> These chicks are crazy! This feels inappropriate, <laughs> but like, it's kind of cool. <laughs> she nodded, started digging through his pocket. After a few minutes... It's no use! There's nothing here! Did you lie to me? No, I, I swear, keep looking. I thought she was talking to Clover at first. I yeah. Like, Whoa. Wait, there is something in here. <laughs> I'm just stupid. <laughs> Clover pulled her hand from his pocket and held it out. Is that a pill? Like for medicine? Hey, what is this? Huh? I can't see it. Bring it over here. Clover frowned and moved closer to Dio, holding the pill out toward him. Yep. Suddenly he moved, his right hand shake, uh, snaking out to grab the pill from Clover's hand. Before anyone could react, he shoved it into his mouth. I heard a tiny crack as he bit down on it. Almost immediately, he grimaced in pain. 
Shit! Wh what What was that? Poison, I guess. Wh what Damn! How could I be so stupid? <laughs> his eyes rolled up into the, his head, and flecks of spittle began to trick out, trickle out from the corners of his mouth. I grabbed him by the hair and shook. <laughs> what the hell are you doing? Where's the input device? <laughs> Lost it. In my couch. Back home. Don't screw with me. Fine. Don't tell us. How about you give us the deactivation codes instead? Deactivation? <laughs> you guys are persistent. Fine. Not gonna do you much good anyway. I'll tell you. But you only get one. This is the deactivation code for bomb three. Ready? L X Q L H C N M R. So we actually have some of the codes for the other ones. Right. You put them in yeah. a. Let me. I put them in a little notepad thing because I'm old school. Right. We actually have the codes for bomb zero and one. So this is. L H C N M R. Yeah. So we actually have uh, three of the deactivation codes so far. We just need the one for uh, bomb two. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. What about the other three? Tell us the other three. He didn't even seem to hear me. My body will be a part of the foundation of a bright future. His voice was weak, and more foam was dribbling out of his mouth. Such a <laughs> You don't have to reenact that. World. May Stop it. Brother live. <laughs> Never last. Weird. Or not. Those were the last words Dio spoke. Well. He died with a strange, happy smile. He Damn. only gave us the password for one of the bombs. This is bad. What are we gonna do? I don't know. How much time have we got? 25 minutes. Are you sure? Yes. When he told us the time, I checked my bracelet. It said exactly 30 minutes. You mean the bombs are gonna go off the same time the next set of doors opens? Yes, the time on your bracelet is the time we have left. Ooh, so 25 minutes. This isn't good. I was hoping that we might be able to escape through the white doors, but it takes five minutes for the primary door to open and close. So, yes, I know. There's no way we can get through them before the explosion happens. Well, there's no point just standing around. We should start looking. We need three things. The password input device. And the remaining two bombs, right? Right. We also need passwords for all the bombs other than number three. Exactly. Maybe Dio has a note or something. Hold on. Let me check. She knelt down and quickly checked his pockets and sleeves, then sat back on her heels, frustrated. Damn, he's clean. She looked pale. Then we'll just have to hope we find it somewhere. Tenmyoji, can you go tell Luna what's happened? Right. I'm on it. Good. The rest of you, let's move out. We can do this. Let's go. We all took off at a run, heading to different parts of the building. But all of our searching turned up nothing. And as we searched, the clock kept ticking. Then at last, the chromatic doors opened. So at least get in there. Maybe it'll shield you a little bit, you know? Chromatic doors have opened. Five minutes remain until chromatic doors close. Right. Our time had run out. We watched the white doors open. Were they doors to heaven or to hell? The thought barely had time to flutter through my mind before everything went white.
We didn't even have time to say goodbye. A thousand emotions flooded my brain in those last moments. Why? How? How'd we ended up this way? Then a blistering wave of heat, like the surface of the sun itself, wiped out any lingering thoughts. My consciousness slipped away into a bottomless pool of darkness. Neither heaven nor hell, only the void. And dead. <laughs> oh boy, we got another ending. Oh, woo, 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 woo. Gotta move. This is an extra long episode. Well, one figured, you know. Yeah. No, I'm glad we were able to do it. Had for a month and a half, so we did an extra long one today. You're welcome. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Yay. Okay, we're done with this. So this was the Alice ending? Yeah, it says yeah. Alice. And, and then end right behind yeah, us. Whatever. So, okay. Look, her little icon's there now. Yay. So now we just need Luna. Quark. Yeah, we need Luna, which I guess is over here. Quark, maybe over here. Right. Um, Fi. Fi. I'm very interested in Fi's. Fi. We also need Fi's. Yeah, Alice's was kind of disappointing. Alice's kind of sucks. Yeah. 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 I like that it tells you bomb mm -hmm. number three, the activation code. Um, okay, yeah, so this was a lock right here, lock number five. And we unlocked that by getting the Dio ending. Mm hmm So, um, I'm trying to remember what where we should go next. Uh, Do we want to ally at the beginning of that? I, I think I think if we ally, um, there's like five. I think Clover get I think out. if we ally, Alice betrays, so she gets nine points, so she leaves. We can double check if you want next video but yeah i'm pretty sure that's what happens okay anyway um yeah so what did you think about the events of this episode it was a lot <laughs> is this your water yeah but you can have it it's fine um i was hoping that i was glad that they went back and talked a bit about the morphogenetic fields and all ice and yeah. ice nine and all that. But I really wish that she truly had been the Egyptian queen. I know. I Cause that would have been far more interesting. I mean, and they, they did the cliffhanger ending of nine, nine, nine with her hitchhiking. And then I don't know. It's just, it's just kind of, it's kind of disappointing for it to be like, no, she's just some girl named Alice happens to be named Alice who happens to dress like an Egyptian queen. Right. And happened to be in the area when they got off that ship and they found because the empty coffin. Because she's looking for. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But, um, so that is disappointing. Yeah. Right. Um, and I'll, I'll, I'll go ahead and say, just so we can focus on theorizing about the right things. Okay. Uh, we've pretty much gone to the bottom of Alice. That's really it. Yeah. I think it's important because nothing's more frustrating with these games than like something driving you crazy and then yeah. you never get an answer to it. So don't expect anything more out of Alice's story okay. or Clover's. They're pretty much... They're both done. They're pretty much done. Yeah. Wow. I mean, there's still a lot of unanswered questions we have about like, for example, uh, Kay, who has our face. Yeah. We are Kay. Yeah. Um, still some unanswered questions about Dio. But we pretty much got it. And and free the soul and stuff. Yeah. Um, Ten Miyoji, we have Miyoji, a lot of questions because I, of his picture of Junpei. I mean, his, June. his picture of uh, June. And then, like, we we can basically assert that he is Junpei now because there's been there's been too many coincidences. Right, but it doesn't make any sense. Why is he right, old? Why, why is he old and Clover's young? Something and weird is Alice. happening. Yeah, so. Yeah, and Alice, you know. There's a lot of strange things happening right. with that. but uh, And then we don't know anything about Luna. We haven't gotten her ending yet. Quark is a big question mark. Yes. Uh, Phi is a big Phi. question mark. Phi is the biggest question mark, I think. Which we, we found out. I mean, we basically found out in the Dio ending that she can jump around too. Right. She's aware that there's She's time of, stuff going on. Yeah. Well, it seems like she can control it. Yeah? Yeah. Because... 
Remember, um, there was a moment where, where she was like, oh, we're in this, we're in this timeline or she says something like that. Yeah. I thought she was just observing. No. I didn't think she was like, uh, oh, well, maybe I'll... she, uh, maybe she can't control it then. I don't know. I was yeah. Just... Cause I just think she's like us where she's like, oh, right. Okay. Now yeah. I know what's going on. Yeah. Okay. Well, anyway, um, so I don't know. I guess maybe in the next episode we'll go back here mm -hmm. and uh, just go through the ally. final regular room. No, this isn't a ally betray. This is a pick which door you want to go through. Oh, you're right. You're right. So the I think doors. we might pick the final door of this row, uh, which means we'll only have one more escape room after that, I think. And then we can. Oh, wait, no, we'll have. We might have two. I don't know. Yeah, it kind of depends on what that little thing on the far end is. Yeah. Because, like, you got the first three, right? Mm-hmm. And then you got um, nine in the middle right there. Mm-hmm. And then it seems like, oops, it seems like each branch has at least one um, third, you know? Mm-hmm. So... All right. Well, we'll find out uh, in the next uh, video, which will be posted tomorrow, because... By the time you're watching this, we're all done, so. Right. All right. But we're excited. Yeah. Yay to be back. Yay. Woo. Until then, think critically. <laughs>